you know, guns blazing full speed. And if we happen to hit anybody, then so be it. Let's try it. Come on, come on. Oh, what's happening? Look at that! We just went through the whole thing! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Reassembly. It is great to have you all here today. So we're just going to be kicking it with the old Galactic Quandarius. I have made quite a few new ships. As you can see here, look, a new station that I've been working on. Uh, let's get the tutorial tips out of the way here. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, quickly take a look at some of this stuff. I've unlocked a bunch of P... Let's start there, actually. What I was just trying to think where we want to start. So we are up to 12,000 P now. And uh, I built a couple ships to really help facilitate the P earnage, if you will. Yeah, the old P earnage, you know? If you're going to earn some P, you want to earnage it. Whatever that means. So anyways, here's all the ships we got going on. You can see, here are the new ships I worked on. And uh, these first three are kind of the same. Let's take a look. So this is the Gulper. What this consists of mainly is solar arrays. These each only earn 0.1 R per second. And I just have kind of a little smattering across the ship here. I sort of built my uh, this ship based on the P limit that I had. And then I built a larger and larger version. I just sort of essentially added on to it every single time. So I started with this one, started earning some P, or sorry, started earning some R, which then led me to building the Gulper 2.0, which uh, could hold a lot more. And what, what I have up here, these are containment units. Just I just needed a place to put them. Yeah, I was running out of room, you know, and there was no, honestly, no really great aesthetical way to, to put these on here that was pleasing to the eye, unfortunately. But we did get them on there, and uh, they did increase the R quite a bit. And the whole infrastructure of this ship actually is is containment units. It's really weak. Uh, you know, if something's going to attack this, this thing dies almost instantly, even from the smallest ship. It was mainly built to just camp right next to a station, and then just let the uh, conversion happen as it trades it to the station. So that then led me to build the Gulper Ultimate, which is just a longer version of 2.0. You can see here we have a double extension of the middle unit, rounded out by this little uh, back unit here with the thrusters. Again, same concept here. Uh, you just, you know, yeah, keep it, keep it camped next to a station like the one we're at. And uh, th this one was uh, earning quite a bit of R per second. We have just over 100 solar panels here, so it, it was pretty good. You know, we, we were earning... Probably somewhere around 10 to 15 R per second. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, that really adds up when you think about it. So, the next thing I built was a station. And here it is. It's called the Protectorate Indefinite. And this is... It's got a couple factories on it. It's got four of these Tempest weapons. Actually, no, it has eight of the Tempest weapons. And then it just has a smattering of these long-range lasers. The smaller size and the medium size. Uh, the only difference between these is they both have a range of 1,000, but the smaller ones do 75 damage a second, and the larger ones do 300. And there is, of course, even a larger one you can unlock, which is intense. Uh, I also unlocked these large reactors. These generate 500 energy a second with 1,500 storage, which is just what you need. And then, of course, we got a bunch of containment units here. So that was the station, and this is what I just finished building uh, right before I started recording this episode, this is the Puser Cruiser. <laughs> it is, so we have uh, the core concept of this ship. So we have an inner frame, uh, sort of connecting the inner parts of the ship, not on the left and right, but on the top and bottom, they're all connected. And we have these four uh, laser modules on all four sides of the ship. And these are just packed with the long range lasers. If I zoom out here and mouse over a laser, you can see the range, there's the radius of the laser. So we have a lot of those on there. We've got a lot of the larger lasers. We have a bunch of these phaser weapons. Uh, these are 45 damage per round. They have a 15 splash radius. I don't know what the the you know the distance uh, like the word is used for distance in this. Is it meters or you know feet or you know kil kilometers? Uh, who knows? Uh, it's it's 15 whatevers. That's what we're going with. But these are great, yeah, because they're AOE. Um, they burst up to two rounds at once, and let's see, do they show? Yeah, they, they shoot around one round a second, but they can burst. So we got a bunch of those, and then I have these laser drone launchers on the back. These are so cool. You guys are going to love this. These are so rad. Um, I, I initially had these inside the ship, but I found the drones actually get stuck inside the ship. But each of these shoots a little, a little drone, which is what these little guys are right here. This little square. And uh, these drones, they, they actually take off, and, and they have a laser. And their laser has a range of 600. And every time I shoot drones, they all join our fleet, which is cool. They don't last forever. 
but uh, we got that going for us. And then, of course, all along the outside are spikes. And so many spikes. So this is what I'm going to transform into here. I'm going to go ahead and I always make sure to keep a copy, an extra copy around. All right, let's get the transformation underway. Oh, this, this thing is so much fun. Like, the Mega Upvote was fun, but this ship was really, it's, it's built so much better, uh, especially as far as the spikes go and the, I guess, uh, distribution of said spikes really makes it easy just to carve through stuff. We don't get stuck on too much. Of course, now that I've said that, watch, I'm, I'm going to get stuck on everything under the sun. But here we go. Are we almost done? We're almost done. And then we're going to be ready to just rock out and get truck a luck. And <laughs> if you're going to be in space, you need to learn how to truck a luck. We can hold 1800 R with this thing. It's, oh, and by the way, this thing is crazy fast. I added a lot of boosters to this. See there how we just kind of carve through stuff? So let's, I was thinking, we're just going to go around with the, the Puser Cruiser, see what kind of damage we can, kind of, you know, kind of damage we can cause, kind of hurt we can put on someone, get the hurt locker out. So that's, that's the thought anyways. Uh, let me just back out here. I still have problems with plants, unfortunately. I think plants just inherently can cause some problems, you know, but it's uh, something we can deal with. It's not a big deal. So yeah, you'll see here, we just we just go through stuff. And we have so much boost, it's, it's incredible, like, how great it is. You know, we can get going pretty fast. You can see all of our small and large lasers here. So here's what'll happen. Let's go ahead and get some drones launching. So you can see, when I hold right click, we get the drones going. You can see here, the uh, the drones join our fleet. So let, let me get out a little bit. We can get these guys coming with us. Usually they will follow you. It's very cool. Here they come. So you can see all the drones have these little tiny lasers. Oh, it's so cool. I really like it. And then, and then check this. Once I keep launching them. So we got like 100 in our fleet right now. Look at this. It's like a little drone shield that comes with us. Look at this. And then they just go off and shoot. And then like we go off. And now... Let me show you the weapon setup. Uh, we have a lot of the weapons are on auto fire, so you don't even you only see about half our weapons. Just the point defense. Uh, all these four outside modules are all point defense, and they all cover each other really well. And everything on the inside of the ship is is on auto fire. So the inside is like the, the the meat and bones. You can see it's just a plethora of components in there. Look at that crazy, crazy. All right. So we're just going through the Borg area right now. I really dig the Borg designs. Uh, they're tough. They have a lot of armor. I have noticed, or we've all noticed, at one point or another. So, okay, yeah, let's see. You, you'll you see here if I can get close enough to this guy. He's like, oh, help me! Snake. <laughs> uh, where do we want to go? You know what? Let's go, um, let's go up here to this agent. Let's see how quickly we can maybe get up there. If we don't hit our own station here. Oh, I'm so sorry. And we just dropped everything off. All right, here we go. On the road again. I'm in the Puser Cruiser looking for some gin. I'm gonna put it in my mouth tonight. It's good. good. Let's get around this wormhole, eh? That was my space song, by the way. Normally, when you're you're trucking through space, you gotta have a space song. Let's just keep it going. I love this. Uh, it is unfortunate. Every now and then, we'll hit some stuff. <laughs> here, if we get everything going, it's intense. Like this guy. Toasty! Maybe we'll launch some drones. Originally, you know... Oh, yeah. Let's fight. Let's try to just shoot the drones at this guy and see how they do. All right. We're just launching drones. Uh, a lot of them get stuck on the back. It's weird. Like the spikes. Just uh, just get in the way sometimes. No, I want to watch this guy die. Ah, oh, my ship. Dag nabbit. All right. Let's, let's head back over here. I want to see how we're doing against the old crescent moon. Oh, I'll tell you how we're doing. <laughs> Most of our ships, I mean, our weapons seem to take out our targets before we get to them. <laughs> or we just reverse over them. All right, here we go. Oh, I've been, that's serious. I sat here and played for about an hour and a half after I built this. And I was just like, oh my god, I gotta get to recording. Oh, here's some more of these Crescent ships. All right, okay, I'm not gonna launch the drones. Oh, he just, he just nuked, like, the front of the ship off. Homie, don't play that. Get some more drones. He did a good job of taking out the front of our ship there. Wow. We'll let the drones get over there. We got uh, almost 100 drones in our fleet. Oh, he's having some problems. 
Get them, get them, little guys. Go. Oh, too bad we can't name each and every drone. I'm not, not quite sure why that would be a thing we would want to do, but my, by golly, I would have Drone Junior. Drone Cubed Junior Squared. All right, let's go ahead and capture this. Oh, I feel so much better, like, with this build. I finally felt like I had something that could survive in the galaxy. So I ran into a problem. This was a really interesting problem. I had. Look at all our drones. It's just in insane, isn't it? How cool is this? Uh, yeah, I ran into a problem where uh, the agents actually were starting to catch up to us all the time. And that was unfortunate because I was dying a whole lot. Uh, those agents just seemed to track you. The weird thing was one of the agents disappeared out of the galaxy. I think they might have run into one of these stations. Th these stations are really tough to take out. They honestly just have a lot going on. You know what? Let's go after this agent. This is uh, B. Timmons 6588. Says he's got four ships. I highly doubt it. He could have more. But we're going to go in. Balls out. Here we go. Pants off. I don't even need them anymore. We got the uh, Puser Cruiser. Okay. Get him, guys. Get him, little ones. Meep. Meep. Let's just go in here. See how we do. Yeah, they, they can't... They <laughs> This is so great. We already took out, like, the leader of their uh, their fleet. Look at this. I mean, we're hitting all targets at once. How incredible is that? I'm really, really liking this build. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you trying to fly by me? And heaven forbid, like, any ship run into us, you know? Let's see. Let's get the brakes going. Uh, but see, then we can just floor it and go, like, right through this guy. I love it. I love it. It's so great. We just split the asteroid in half. It is so majestic. Oh, there is a big ship. I want it. I want it. All right. Sometimes these guys can be tough. But uh, I think we will we will prevail. We're just going to split and grit. Oh, yes. Look at that. We split it and grit it. I don't, <laughs> there, there's grit on there somewhere. I promise. I feel like we're talking about sandpaper when we talk about grit, though. Okay, here come some more ships. Here we go. Here, eat some drones, my friend. Have a few. I, want, I wanted to get the ship laced with drones. I was trying to find spots where uh, the drones could launch without having to worry about running into other parts of our ship. So you can see here on the back, we got tons of drones just built up. Just trying to launch, you know. Just being drones. Seems like we can maintain right around 100 if I, if I just hold it down. Let the drones get in there. Do a lot of the work, you know. Ooh, look at that. He got past uh, one of our quadrants. Almost got to our central core. But look at our ring of drones. Uh-uh. Go get him, guys. Go, go, go get him. Go fetch. Bring daddy back a toy. <laughs> or a bone or something. Wow, they really don't do too much damage. It's uh, it's minimal, you know. I, I imagine you have to really, really get launched in a bunch of drones. Wow, we're up to 170, actually. We can maintain a lot more than I, I initially thought. All right, there we go. We're starting to get part of our ship back. So what we're going to do, we're going to capture this station. I can't wait to submit our forces on this one. Uh, although this ship, for instance, this ship and this will not be submitted. Only everything uh, 8,000 P and under. So when we go in a wormhole, since we're using a mod, you know, these two guys, they can't exist in the normal game. And I wonder, too, like, if, if you build... So, we, you know, we have that mod called Arsenal Forgery. If you put some of that those parts on your ship, I'm guessing... Oh, look, two stations. I'm guessing players won't get to see that, will they? Uh, unless they have the mod. I'm actually not quite sure how that works, if you're using modded parts. I don't even know if I've built anything with the... with the Arsenal Forgery parts yet. Maybe these laser drones? I don't know if they were part of the game. I'm not sure. I'm trying to unlock this guy. One sec. I think he might be too close. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's go after this guy. Let's go uh, to Ezza. <laughs> Ezza. We're just having some fun right now. Seriously. I, I did. I spent probably three hours just building. And, uh, you know, with the solar panels. Letting stuff convert and just, you know, unlocking things. I went through the parts list. I unlocked a lot of parts, actually. A lot of different factories and reactors. Let's get going. Whee! Doom, doom, do, doom, 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 doom. I hate plants because they make me launch off them. Plants, 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 plants. When you got some plants, oh, up in your pants. 
I gotta stop singing. So, sorry, sometimes I just get singing. You know, it's it's like one of those days. It's a singing day. It's It really is. Oh. Oh, man. We really bounced off that. But we are coming up to the agent. I kind of want to go in there just, you know, guns blazing full speed. And if we happen to hit anybody, then so be it. Let's try it. Come on, come on. Oh, what's happening? Look at that. We just went through the whole thing. We killed him. Uh, yep, we just destroyed that guy's fleet. And a bunch of his ships. Wow. Wow, that was cool. That was way cool. <laughs> and this... The Saucer MK1. Hey, I really, really dig these designs. Very cool. But I don't know if this guy can outrun drones. Oh, what are you gonna... What, what's, what are you gonna do when, when you hit the thing? I don't know. Well, he'll figure it out someday. Let's go after another agent. This is way too much fun. Here we go. Koshevsky. Uh, we've got seven ships. We're going for him. We're going to apply the brakes here and head up there. And look at this. We're even dropping off stuff. This is fantastic. So, check this out. This is what we are using. I have the laser drone launcher. Look at how big these get. Here's a bigger version for 14,000 credits. And look at this one. 32,000. Oh, man. Epic. Oh, my goodness. That would be so sweet. Rocket drone launcher. Now, now these looked cool, okay? I just saw these right before I started recording. These are amplifiers. So, like a... Uh, let's just look at one of these. Modular cannon HDMG amp. So, this... What you do is you hook a weapon system up to this module. And you will get 4% energy a shot, but a 60... But a plus 60 uh, damage per shot. So, like, you could put a weapon on here that did 60 damage, attach it to this, and now it's doing double damage. It's doing, it's you know, doing 120. So, I wanted to play with those. Those looked uh, like a lot of fun. Quite a few other things on here look like a lot of fun, too. Like these, th you know, thistle launchers. That seemed kind of fun. Although, that's uh, part of a race that you normally can't play. Okay, anyways, let's keep going. We want to go after this agent. I just, it's, it's seriously, I love playing with this... Uh, once you just come up with a design, you never know if it's going to work. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, excuse me, by the way, I, I had a sip of coffee a moment ago uh, when I was looking at the upgrade menu, and it it's like not going down right. I don't know what's up. It's, it's a failed coffee attempt. Uh-oh. Ooh, let's get out of there. What happened here? Can't get through this stuff. There we go. You just got to kind of power through, I think. We'll try one more time. Go, baby. No. Oh. Stupid plants. I don't know what it is about plants. Now, still, they could be hitting in between the uh, spikes. You know. But uh, here's the thing. I didn't want to add more spikes to this. I really liked the look of the ship with the spaced out spikes. I guess at, at a certain point, you know, like you could make it insane looking, but I still wanted it to be kind of pleasing. And since I was just winging stuff. Oh, here's the agent. Well, let's just do a little flyby real quick. Isn't that crazy when this thing just gets shooting? It is, it's, it's so awesome. I really, really have fun with this. It's so cool. Hey there, buddy. Launching at you every day. So where is, uh, where's the agent leader? He's right down here. We seem to be missing him. He's right down here somewhere. Oh, here he is. And dead. Okay, we got him. Yay. Tee hee. We have just a few more agents here. Let's see, who's this guy? Dr. Dro and Mercury. 11 ships. Oh, wait a minute. We have an agent down here that I missed. Well, we can't let this guy live, can we? That's not the way you play the game. We're just going to come in on this guy. Hot and heavy. Full speed. Ain't nobody going to stop us. Here we go. Oh, man. We're coming in. Oh, I'm going to bounce off this stuff, aren't I? No? We're, oh, we're looking out. Oh, yes. Oh, we just, we, we took some stuff out, but we, uh, we missed a bulk of it. We missed a bulk of it. Here we go. Oh, we're just kind of bouncing off. There we are. Another, another agent dead. Wow. I am really liking this ship. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Let's get this guy. Get him. Go, little drones. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, we have an intercept point. Sink. Let's turn back around. Turning radius on this could be a little bit better. Look at all the, the drones. Just, oh, I, I wouldn't want to be over there. I'd be freaking out right now. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Hey, do you think in space nobody can hear you not wearing pants? I'm just thinking about that right now. I don't know. Really curious. Hmm. Alright, well, we honestly, we've taken out... I mean, another eight. There's a couple left, but we're really making progress. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop this episode here. This was a lot of fun. In the next episode, we're going to head to a, a new galaxy. We're going to unlock a new galaxy, and uh, hopefully I'll have a, a couple more builds to show off before we maybe try another mod like Super Forts or something like that. Uh, from what I heard, Super Forts, they, you can fight fortresses up to like 100,000 P or something like that. Look at this, 150 drones all just scooching on this guy. Anyways, that's what we're going to be taking a look at, so I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. I hope you all have an absolutely great day. Take it easy and stay classy.